Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue with me, John Garcia. Oh, goody. Random encounters. Anyway, this route, or er, last time we got Squirtle. Look at Indiana. It's so adorable. Just just imagine a fedora. I'm not going to Photoshop one in. Uh, basically, this route has Rattatas and Pidgeys. Basically, mice and little birds. Nothing to write home about, obviously. Um... But mostly what we're going to do today is just cross this route and back, uh, which probably should be somewhat boring. So to alleviate that, I've got a little something for you. Okay, now that I've got it up, basically this is a YouTube survey, Nerimon, aka Alex Day, or is it the other way around? Whatever, this guy's giving us a free potion. Yay, more items. Anyway, basically it's a YouTube survey. He did, which uh, I was tagged in by Ally McKean, who is a uh, lovely uh, vlogger. You should check her out. I'll link her in the doobly-doo and possibly in an annotation. If you see one, I did. If you don't, I didn't, obviously. Uh, but not right now, because first we're going to go into Viridian City. The first real city in, in the world. <laughs> and here's a Pokemon Center. Basically, Pokemon Centers, you take your Pokemon to them, they get healed for free. It's a really uh, convenient racket, I guess. It'd be really nice if... Okay, I'm not going to make the inevitable healthcare joke. But yes, cities basically have Pokemon Centers and Pokemon Marts. All of them do, except for Pallet Town because it kind of sucks. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Jed got Oak's parcel. See, okay, when I was a kid, uh, being, as kids are wont to be, uh, kind of an idiot, I thought that that said Oak's Parasol. You know, like, uh, like the, uh, the little umbrella things? Or I'm not sure if I knew, or if I thought that it was Oak's par Parasol, but I just kind of mixed up the words. I'm not gonna read the blackboard, it's probably just a bunch of tutorial stuff that I'll, I'll explain myself later. Anyway... Towns also usually have a gym, but we cannot get into this one, and we will not be able to for some time. Let's see if I leave town. This guy, who is probably hungover, I think in the Japanese version he was, uh, will block my way. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, I thought that I was delivering like an umbrella to Professor Oak, because I, just, I mixed up the words, okay? Is it... Is that that big a deal? Anyway, when you go to town, when you go back to town, you can jump over these things. Wheel! Wheel! Basically, you can avoid grass by doing that. Wheel! Yep. That's... Ah, why did I walk into the grass? Whatever. Not a big deal. There's the other Pokemon you find on this route. Pidgey. Uh, those eyes are the creepiest eyes. Anyway, this YouTube survey. Let me get onto it. Uh, number one is tell us about your first kiss. Uh... My first kiss happened in high school with my first high school girlfriend, um, who I, I'm not, you know, going to talk too much about her because uh, she at least watches the minute vlog. I don't know if she watches this. Um, I don't. I forget how long we'd been dating, but I knew that uh, when I first started dating her, she told me she hadn't seen Star Wars, which was obviously a problem. So uh, we watched uh, the original trilogy together. And I'm pretty sure it was right after we got done uh, with Return of the Jedi that we may had our first kiss. Um, not anything to write home about. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, there it was. Uh, and we, we were together for quite a bit of time, but we weren't really that good for each other. Whatever. I, I hear she's doing okay, so whatever. Alright, now back to Oak. Oak, I have a, a little parcel for you. And my Pokemon, I don't know, it's, it's okay. You have something for me? Yes. Why else would I be coming back to your lab, old man? And what he ordered is a Pokeball. I mean, couldn't he have just gone and got it himself? Really? Also, uh, that, that, uh, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Like, why didn't they just give me a Pokeball? No, because I could have used it. Never mind. Oh, yeah, this is the important thing. Pokedex. Uh, Poke... I don't know what the dex really stands for. But, uh... Oh, I uh, got a Rolodex? I don't know. But it's basically an encyclopedia. When you catch a Pokemon, information gets entered in on it. Most of the time, that information information is completely useless and completely wrong. Uh, because it's just... 
it's usually just ridiculous things. Um, like, famously in a future game, there's a Pokemon whose body temperature is given as being the same as the surface of the sun, which, uh, if on the real Earth, would burn us all to death. Oh yeah, uh, Train's sister, Daisy, has, uh, has town maps, and he says he'll tell her not to give us one. But you know what? I don't think he really bothered doing that. So I'm gonna say, hi, Daisy. Grandpa, I asked you to run an errand. Here, this'll help you. Yeah, that's the most grating voice I've ever made. And you get a town map. Basically useless. You can use it to look at, uh, like the world map. So there are places I'll be going eventually. But, you know, I've been to Route 1, Viridian City. Anyway, let's head back up to Viridian now that we can actually do stuff. Because that guy's drink is coffee now. Drink, drink, guy has drink? Whatever. Phrasing! Difficult. Okay, the next thing is, what is the most expensive casual item of clothing you've ever bought? Uh, honestly, I don't often buy clothing. Um, I mean, probably just, I mean, uh, most expensive clothing I've ever, like, personally bought would probably be, uh, like a pair of shoes or something. I don't know, like 50 bucks at most. Um, I'm very cheap and, uh, practical when it comes to these kind of things, and usually... Uh, being a college student, and somewhat poor as I am, I just have my mom buy them. Uh, the next one, what was the first job you ever wanted as a kid? I'm gonna hazard a guess, my memory is, for when I was a kid is not that great, but I'm gonna hazard a guess that it was the same as what my dad did. Uh, because, you know, that's what kids do. Yeah, I already know, you can jump off them. I made the Toby Turner noise. Anyway, get out of my way, sir, or madam, I don't know, gender ambiguous. Uh, the first job I wanted as a kid was probably the same as my dad's, which he was a delivery man for Schwann's, uh, which is an ice cream place. He still works there, actually. Um, he's worked there pretty much since I was born, on and off. Or, not since I was born, but for a long while. Um, but, you know, I just emulated my parents around me. As I said, I was not that, uh, exciting of a kid. Anyway, now we can do the important thing, and that is to buy Pokeballs. Uh, like I said earlier, you can weaken Pokemon, and then you can catch them. Uh, you can't let them faint, because for some reason when they faint, that, I don't know, it's unfair to catch them? It, there's really no reason. Oh, probably for later, want to buy some antidotes. Just saying. Uh, just a couple will be fine. But, uh, just saying, in, in, in a future dungeon, you will be poisoned, and it will suck. Because as you walk, poison hurts you. But more on that when I actually am poisoned, which inevitably will happen. For now, I'm going to go over here and catch my first Pokemon! Okay, not actually my first Pokemon, because I've already, you know, I've already got a Squirtle. But, uh, I'm going to catch this Pokemon. As I've said before, um, in, uh, I don't want to catch that Pokemon. Skipping forward to when I do find it. Okay, here we go. This is the Pokemon I want to catch from my team, Spiro. Um, a flying Pokemon just like uh, Pidgey, but much better in every way. Pidgey never gets that useful. Spiro will be useful at least until, uh, at least until midway through the game, and it still continues to be somewhat useful. Um, so I'm gonna catch it. Anyway, going on with the uh, survey, what would I want to name my kids? Um, uh, or no, no, that's not that's the. Tell us about your group of school friends. I assume this means high school? Um, because I mean, I'm still technically in school, just not that kind of school. Uh, basically in high school, um, I mean, of course I was just kind of awkward nerdy. Going into freshman year, I have an older brother, and, uh, oh, it eats bugs and flies, like a bird would do. Oh, going over to my high school friend thing, I decided, oh, in advance to name this Pokemon Johnson because it's a bird and uh, for some reason I think of it oops I'm bad at spelling I think of it as like a like I'm a company man I uh, and I'm telling the Johnson like you know refer to him by his last name and tell him to do stuff so I'll be like Johnson give me those papers and he'll be like Squaw! and I'll be like Johnson give, give get that report on my desk by noon Squaw! Johnson are you ready for your lunch break? Squaaaaaaa! I don't know. To me, it's funny. Uh, I don't know if it's funny to you guys. To imagine a little birdie with a briefcase and a suit, but... 
It's, yeah, that's comic gold to me. The other Pokemon on that route are um, Nidorans, which are the first gendered Pokemon um, that you'll ever see. Uh, the only ones you'll see in this. I only saw the female one, but yeah, there it is. Little poison rabbit things. Uh, they can be useful, but they will fall out of use very quickly because just eventually they get overshadowed by everything. Which, uh, Spearow will not be, so that's good. I'm getting healed by stuff. Anyway, uh, we could continue on that route I was on before, but I don't want to yet because first, I want to train a little bit. Um... So anyway, my group of school friends in high school, I had my, uh, I had an advantage going into high school because uh, my brother, who was older than me, I'll talk to this guy, why not? I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Sure, you can go. Am I giving every male character the same thing? No, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just doing a video on YouTube. I'm sure people would love to see you give a tutorial. Ugh. Actually, this guy can be very useful because um, he's used to activate a bug later in the game. Uh, which I probably will be showing off. Hopefully it won't kill my emulator. Um, but he basically shows you how to fight a Pokemon. Um, or how to catch one. Which you should know already, because I just did. Anyway, in high school I had the advantage that my older brother had friends, and so I knew some people through that. Um, I, I was genuinely, generally somewhat popular. I mean, I wasn't like a, a jock or anything like that, but uh, I feel like high school is misrepresented in a lot of media as being like jocks and nerds and like a huge um like obvious social hierarchy but it's really not like that um this is route three i believe i think there are some new pokemon on here if i'm not mistaken uh no well that's not one but anyway um then going into sophomore year to the end i was in choir so i was pretty much a choir kid um so i knew a lot of people in that uh and just generally uh, band people, orchestra people, I was in orchestra as well. Um, I played played the viola in middle school and high school. There's a fun fact. Um, although I don't generally play it anymore. And, uh, my best friend was much like me. Or, my, 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 several of my best friends were just like me. Uh, my best friend was Steven, uh, who might be watching this. Uh, half Mexican, nerdy, weird person, just like me. Um, and, uh, we generally all got along. I knew most people in my class. My graduating class is around 200, so whatever. Uh, and I might be out of time. No, I won't. I will answer this next one. Who do you, what do you want to name your kids? Um, I've actually thought of this before. Um, I like the name Anne for a girl, mostly because, uh, well, part, for, for a few reasons. I think it's a pretty name, and because my grandmother's name is Anne. And it, it's just a, a nice little name. Um, I also like the name Jane, but I'm not sure about naming a kid that. Uh, for boys, I don't know. Um, in joking, I always say that I like the name Sergio because it's a good, uh, good, good Hispanic name. You know, good Hispanic name. Not like mine, which is just Jonathan, yes. Um, but I don't know. There, there are good names for guys. I, I mostly am just going to discuss that with my wife, you know, when, when I decide to actually have kids. And next is who you want to, uh, to answer the survey next. I'm not sure who all is watching this right now, so um, if you're watching this, feel free to be to be tagged, uh, since I'm not going to do like an actual video of it, and yes, I saved twice because I'm paranoid. Anyway, see you guys next time. Uh, subscribe if you want, or, or don't if you don't.